like the mystic essentials. And today we are going to look into the fears, blocks, holes, and regrets for our twin flames, divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm just getting my area cleaned out, getting my energy cleansed. Yeah, I'm using um good luck and protection, right? Good luck and protection. I sell this at my website. You can clean yourself, clean your house. Right? Smells pretty good for good luck and protection. So listen, you already received two energies, right? And when the first one came out, I said, ooh, this is so good. But then the second one came out, I was like, ah. So you receive carnacopia with no sun, right? If you are new to my channel, I'm Leah. I read numbers, colors, and talk to spirits, right? So cornucopia comes in as a two, right? Representing doorway, gateway, thresholds, opportunities, missed opportunities, communication factors of conversating and debating, two connecting factors or the two becoming one, and the sun that is in reverse comes in as a one. The one you, the one thought, the one journey, but together they make the three. What is the three? The three talks about the creation, right? The creation where the sun is not illuminating cornucopia, right? Or your cornucopia has no sunshine, right? And everyone knows in order for um life or a situation, right? of growth to bloom you must have the sun right so let's go and get some insight right and see what's going on right so spirit for the divine feminines and the divine masculines what is the insight here of the cornucopia with the sun in reverse why is it here why is the sun reverse listen card comes out in limbo your car is loyalty right and it comes in as master number 33, which is a six, right? The balancing out of loyalty. Maybe someone is low, maybe someone is not, right? But so far, you have master number 11 and master number 33. So somebody is either not seeing loyalty or does not feel loyalty. Does not see, does not feel, right? Loyalty, needing to um balance themselves needing to know exactly where they stand yeah so let's get into it right <sighs> loyalty is kind of heavy over here loyalty can be so many things because i feel like someone here needs to see who is loyal and who is not right who is the person that is keeping them blocked right loyalty comes in as a feminine energy and the feminine energy represents a wounding, right? Or some type of negative energy, right? That is going on within a situation about the illumination of um, cornucopia or many blessings or becoming very um, abundant or, you know, um, the horn of plenty. So let's go to the doorway gateway of spirit. Yes. And check into these loyalties that is in limbo, right? Someone needs to find themselves. So spirit what cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual upon loyalty okay that came out very quickly listen what needs to be done about the situation right the eyes of beauty is here coming in as a seven seven is a number of self-reflection it also represents the number of human right human being me and you someone needs to see positive expectations or want positive expectations and clarity right the main colors of this card is the white, the pink, and the brown. The white talks about the purity and the clarity of the pink. What is the pink? Happiness, joy, success, right? Um, Compassion, right? Romance, right? A relationship, some type of love relationship, but because it's surrounded in the brown. The brown talks about the acceptance of this or the rejection of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So they're telling us that someone either needs to expect positive expectations about this loyalty or someone needs some type of clarity, right? 
to balance out this loyalty here. Yeah. Feminine energy, feminine energy. What is not being seen? See that? Positive expectations and clarity, right? They both come in, right? And they make the four. Oh, the most injuring and damaging numbers on the boards at this time are the twos and the fours, right? Someone needs some type of clarity. Someone needs a solid mind here. So let's go and look into loyalty. Why is it in limbo and why must somebody see or want positive expectations? Not saying that it's a divine masculine. Not saying that it's a divine feminine because this is the energy for both parties here. Spirit, clarify loyalty in the eyes of beauty. Why are they here? Right? Coming in as a four. Directly in the middle. Directly in the middle. But it's face down. So what is it that someone does not see? What is it so, that someone does not know? The shift is coming in. The circle is also known as the wheel or the circle. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, major shifts are here. I'm telling you, we'll break it down. Now let's see why Carnacovia in the sun. Uh-huh, in reverse. Why are they here? What is being created? Right, what is being created? Hopefully not a block because a block... Or fear that came out so quick can um be created. What is being created? Four of cups or legacy, right? Another four is here, right? The feeling of a legacy, right? A feeling of a legacy. But when you speak four of cups, it talks about someone wanting to go on a journey in love, but they are blocked by their attachments. So here what someone feels they should do i should right i have a feeling that i should go on a, a journey up towards my conicopia towards my blessing but when you look at those three of cups that's in the four of cups what is stopping you what is blocking you no illumination no knowledge right no sunshine no growth and then they tell us who it pertains to the father or the emperor right also coming in as a four but the good thing about it the four of legacy with the four of father represents the eight together which represents spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations also known as transformations calling forth spirit to a person which would be the father or the, the masculine energy upon the situation of the four of cups or that legacy right so here we have the divine masculine mm -hmm. upon what situation needing clarity and needing to show or be loyal to the journey right and they say major shift is coming in upon the one you the one thought the one journey yes so let's see what's going on let's get into this clarifying deck let's go over here and let's clarify the wheel well legacy is being clarified that came out so fast two of cups someone is juggling struggling should i move forward should i hold back should i move forward should i hold back for four of cups or legacy towards someone juggle struggle see that what should i do it's up in the air i'm unsure clarify the two of coins spirit why is the two of coins here cars on top was being pushed forward what's being pushed forward worried i'm worried i am worried right um i'm having nightmares um mentally disturbed all right mental disorder right mentally down right yes why because the weight is getting too heavy to continue to juggle or to bear heads down why what are you worried about i'm worried about taking action see that I'm worried about taking action, major action, right? And then the beetle comes in, right? And the, the, anytime you see a beetle, beetles represent divines, right? Towards the illumination. See that? Illumination of t communication. Someone wants to communicate. The, the divine masculines, they're ready to communicate. They want to communicate, but because you have 
thought of action here. See that? Thought of action. Thought of action, right? Swords is the thought, the mental, the logic. Action or the motivation to move, right? Is the staff, right? Some, some divine masculines here, they need to learn how to push forward and get over the state of anxiety and worry, right? And when you do that and you have power to do that because when you look at the king of staff you see how the staff is in between the king himself and the the nine of swords but the divine masculines you need to take the initiative to get up never forget that a staff can be used to hinder or help hinder would be like the fight away to fight off that's what you need to do here fight away the worry fight away the anxiety right fight away the, the the nightmares or the demons or the fears the blocks or the regrets right and to help yourself get up a staff can help a harm here and then once you get over that communication comes in honey communication comes in but let's go underneath the deck and see what's going on right the king of coins also known as the divine masculine right they say here that the king is either securing a family ten of coins right or has the family secured mm -hmm. um ten of coins also represents business organizations or a money factor right i'm strong i'm solid i'm grounded in some cases, you have the divine masculines turning their back on these things. Because the thing about it is some of the divine masculines are getting ready to face their abundance. And in this abundance factor that they face when they learn that they are the king or they are solid, right? Or they have enough power, energy or authority to do just that. They are that grounded. They are going to turn their back on a family situation. They may lose some type of money, some type of bond, right? Or foundation, yeah? Because in the family or the ten of coins, there is a dog. Anytime you see a dog, this represents friend or enemy, right? So this could be literally someone within a family. Don't leave us. Don't go. What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you leaving us? Yeah. But the thing about it is the person that they're speaking um, to, the, the, the point or the standpoint of the person who's speaking, they're not speaking out of place of love here. They're speaking out of place of, I don't want to lose the money. I don't want to lose the stability. I don't want our family to break up. I don't want this. I don't want that. But it's all about their comfort zone, their comfort zone. And a lot of these masculines are going to be like, listen, I've been down and stuck too long, right? So then they say, take action to a staff, right? To move forward. You must have the willpower to go on because the moon is in the sky that represents that spiritual pull. Or are you going towards the unseen, the unknown, right? And then they say, solid mind, solid mental, sound mind, right? Towards what? A two, the two of cups now listen see this relationship this relationship here is the same relationship that is within this family situation but the divine masculine or the the, the masculine energy right is getting ready to cut off this relationship see this war next to this two of cups or some type of truth is getting ready to come in towards this relationship right so at that point the king of swords is literally getting ready to cut away this relationship right and then they tell us a person is going to become single nine of coins yes and then this person here nine of coins talks about someone being held back four of coin from change why has this person been held back from change which would be the divine masculine, right? Why have you been held back? Because you was in this relationship. You were going to be held back for a coins until a change came within the two of cups that you were in. So some are going to create that because some have their mind made up 
that it's time to cut away this relationship or face the truth of this relationship, right? So they tell us when a person, which would be the divine masculine or the masculine energy, learns how to overstep that snake that is upon the ground, low energy of this relationship where this person once was held back, there will be no more. See, changes will come in because a person will learn how to overstep the low energy snake, the drama, yeah, the arguments, the fighting, right, the miscommunication of um communication, right, the misunderstanding of communication, the agreements, the negotiations, right, that is the two, that is the two, same as the two of cups, just because it came in as a two, yeah. So they tell us that communication is going to come in because that is the red bird, right? And because it is red, it talks about blood, love, or defeat. Now, when I say blood, that is a family situation. This bird is going to come in pertaining to, yeah, the family. When I say love, this is the cutting away of this, um, or this was the relationship that they were in. And when I say defeat, this was the cutting away of that relationship. That is that bird. Some type of communication is coming in. But they tell us that this communication comes in to bring forth a recovery. Mm -hmm. Yes. Out of a lover's relationship. Out of some type of family relationship. Could be a job. Mm -hmm. Right? Because this person learns how to overstep low energy. And then they tell us recovery. Someone hangs up a heartbreak, three of swords, to face divine truth. Now, see, you had that sword in your hand, holding it up, correct? Blocking the relationship or cutting it away. Now, they tell us this same person who is out of a relationship, they are single, but now they become humble. So I hang up all my heartaches and pains only to face the divine truth that swore you turn it around, lay it down only to see the truth, right? And then they tell us recovery, recovery of what? The balancing of all relationships, whether it was a lover's relationship, a friendship, a partnership, balance to a relationship is coming in because the six, right, is major arcana six, which is the lovers, is that balanced. And then they say the whole time divine changes behind the scenes was taking place. See, temperance, right? Coming in as major arcana number 14 that breaks down to a five divine changes, right? Has occurred. And then they say now it is time for someone to advance, right? Or work on building up that balance, eight of coin, because someone was on a valuable pathway, value within their hand, and the tool that they needed to build up the six of coins value. And then guess what they say? That was the shift, or that is going to be the shift, right? Wheel of fortune towards bringing in balance, six of coin. They come back again towards who the wounded warrior yes yes so it's coming in so when they say clarity a lot of the masculines they are getting the clarity but it's not upon the time of the divine feminines and it's technically not even upon the time of themselves it is upon the time of the divines and they confirmed that. I'm going to show you how they confirmed it. They confirmed it three times. They made their presence known three times. Three times. What did they tell us? The circle or the wheel of fortune. That was the first, right? Then they told us wheel of fortune again, right? In case you didn't get it the first time. And then they said behind the scenes, the changes of the divine, divine changes, temperance, in case you didn't get it the first two times, you see? So they're here, but it's never within our timing, correct? Yeah, so that was the energy. So that, that was what was needed to be known, right? Do not rush pro like um, progress, right? Never rush. Mm -hmm. 
You rush it along, you speed it along, only to what? Mess it up. Why are you such in a hurry to mess it up? Well, Leah, I've been just going through so much. I've been having so much going on. I just don't. Huh, huh, huh. So a lot of you may have um gotten to a point where you say, you know what, Leah, I ain't even stuck on that no more. You know why? You should be focused on building up yourself. So you can vibrate and attract. And I started to do attraction message for you guys. But Spirit said, no, 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 no. We going this way with this. All right. Hey. All right. Let the divine's will be done. So let's go. Fears, block, holes, and regrets. Spirit, what are the fears, block, holes, and regrets the divine masculines will have to face in the month of August? Ooh, came out. Ooh, is this me? Coming in as a feminine energy with that hot number four. You can accept or you can reject. And for the divine feminine spirit, what are the fear blocks, holes, or regrets they must face in the month of August? Nope. Hold on. I'm going to get you. There it is. Oh, bride in a cage. Coming in as a three, some of you are um, stuck in these lover relationships. Leah, I don't know how to get out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Spirit, what is the energy for the divine masculine? Is this me? Woo! Ooh. All right. You receive the temple path and appreciation, right? The temple path comes in and tell us that this is the balancing of a spiritual journey, the creation, right? towards the appreciation to bring forth your balance what must be released in order to see beauty in your face the three with the six makes the nine what is the nine the nine is the divines calling for your attention to a person right or a situation what do you need to release in order to see beauty in your face in the situation the creation of the balance of a spiritual pathway or a spiritual journey is here is this me yes it's you and for the bride in the cage for these divine feminine spirit, why is it here? What's the energy surrounding it? Oh, my goodness. Y'all seen that popping? Ooh, I'm worried about deceit. I'm worried. I don't know. I need to go away. A storm is coming. A storm is coming. Something is brewing. Yeah. Something is brewing. Mm-hmm. This together, they make the seven, the nine and the seven, right? They make the seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection. Some of you are worried. Some of you are in your head. You don't see the storm coming. Something is getting ready to pop up and surprise you, right? And some of you, they tell us that it's a situation here with you going away from deceit or deception from a masculine energy who has value in their hands, right? Or maybe using some type of magic because that is a candle there in the corner, right? So be careful. It's all good though, right? Stay protected up at all times. Spirit for the divine masculine. What cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual? When I say they popping, now let me tell you something, divine masculine. Is this, this, is, is this me? This diamond dreamer jump right on your face. Like the spirit saying, you better see. What is it that you need to see? Material wealth and true prosperity and this balance coming in. See? Six. The diamond dreamer. But I'm going to tell you something, divine masculines. You can accept or you can reject because it is surrounded in the brown. The main colors here are white, gold, and brown. The purity and the clarity of the illumination of you accepting or rejecting your material wealth and true prosperity. Let's get it. And for the divine feminine spirit trapped in this cage, bride in a cage, <laughs> what cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual for the divine feminines? Thank you over this anxiety. Learn how to get over it. Learn how to deal with it. Learn how to push on, baby. You got the desert prince. Yes, survival and false promises. Is this what you're worried about? Is it really real, Leah? Is it really real? You know how many emails I done had? Leah, is this twin flame journey? Is it real? Very, very real. The main colors here is the white, the orange, and the brown. 
the purity and the clarity, yeah, of the way being cleared is the orange upon you accepting or rejecting, right? And it comes in as a one, the one you, the one thought, the one journey. Let's go. Shutting down these divine feminines and getting over here to these masculines. Yep. So, let's go. Divine masculines. Is this me? Is it really, really me? Yeah. Coming in wounded. Because this is a feminine energy, right? So, this card, right, has moon symbols on them. And this represents the new moon. So, some of you could have had some type of pull or been in some type of situation the end of last month but the beginning of august because that was the new moon phase or you're getting ready to go through a situation because the, the next new moon comes in around the end of the month this month right so someone here is questioning is this me leah is this really me so you trying to tell me i'm a masculine energy but i'm coming in a feminine energy yeah you wounded but what are you wounded by this big old sword is the first thing. That is your mental. And you squatting down, not taking action. That is the second, right? Coming in dressed in black, ready for war. But where are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? You're no, there's no fight here. Where's your fight? Right? You're not even on guard because your sword is not up. You resting here. Oh, I'm taking a break, Leah, right? You can accept or you can reject. This is the four. Fours talk about what needs to be grounded, what needs to be stabilized, bought down, settled down, what can be buried, what can end, right? It also talks about what is in the root of you, what is in the structure or the foundation surrounding you, right? Right here, they tell us you confused because you asking us, is this me? Is it, right? And then they tell us, what needs to happen right coming in as a seven see that seven the four and the three seven is a number of self-reflection what must you do turn around get your head together and take action upon your spiritual path that is your balance right the the, the temple path a spiritual journey but also that balanced journey see that the yin and the yang in the grass but see it's not just you walking along the path right and the path being balanced but you becoming balanced then they tell us why must you take action upon your spiritual path or what must you do you must release see that white napkin drop it bye and once your hand is free you must see beauty in front of your face. But here, you're coming in wounded once again. St I still don't know, Leah. I'm still unsure, Leah. And then they tell us this feminine energy here is dressed in a green and brown dress. That is the acceptance or the rejection of abundance. The acceptance or the rejection of a risk. The exceptions or the, the acceptance or the rejection of the movement forward that is the green that is the green and then the rose that's in your face is pink what is the pink joy happiness success peace relationship romance compassion passion why are you wounded here because you juggling two things a flower and a napkin release the napkin face the beauty and once you learn how to do that, they tell us the creation, right? Six and six makes the creation of you turning around once again and facing your the diamond dancer or dreamer, sorry, right? Material wealth and true prosperity coming in to bring your balance because this is also a card of six. But the thing is, it's still surrounded in a brown. Will you accept or will you reject your material wealth that can be anything, a house, a car, uh, money, right? Uh, another family or a, a loving spouse, do you, material things, right? A basketball, a house with a goal, uh, five cars, I don't care, Lamborghini, Porsche, whatever, right? But then true prosperity, that is that true happiness, 
what is blocking you. What you must do is, if it is not along your path, it's a block. It's a block. It's a block. Because even here, appreciation goes towards the path, right? Where you will learn to remove those things that are no longer needed to face beauty, which is the true prosperity and material wealth, right? But when you look at this rose, you look directly over here towards your temple path, yeah? And if you continue to take steps, you run into the temple path. But see, where you face it in appreciation, when you're in a state of confusion, right? Or a place of no movement, no action, or you all in your head, that's when you turn your back away from your path. See? If it's not about abundance, then, we'll, I mean, if it's not about a gain, why? Why indulge in it? Sometimes you have to grow, grow up to blow up, straight up. Let's look into this. Is this me? Yes, you. Say, Leah, don't give me too much. I ain't going to give y'all too much. Because I'm going to get a divine feminine some too. Spirit, why is, is this me here? For the divine masculine coming in. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. See that? Hidden. What is hidden? The God of fire. Now, in this deck, the God of fire is really the queen of staff coming in as another four. What is or who is the queen of staff? The queen of staff is someone who is uh, lacks motivation, lacks movement. And that's what I told you. You just posted up on your little sword and everything. You dress like you're going to war, but where is you really going? Four and four, spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations, calling for a spirit to a person, divine masculine, or a situation, no movement. Let's get it. Yes, yes. Let's get some insight. I'm curious. Why are you not moving? Spirit, what is the insight surrounding? Is this me and the God of fire for the divine masculine? What is it that we need to see, feel, hear, and understand? See there? Towards your temple path. You have mirroring numbers here. The temple path is a 12 that makes a 3. And then you receive conclusion, which is a 12 conclusion. The end and the first chapter. What must you end to start again? Isn't that the same as releasing the white napkin and facing beauty or that, that pink rose in front of your face? They keep saying the same exact thing over and over and over and over. You must release the old in order to have a new. Who don't want it? But Leah, my baby mama, she just give me so much. My baby daddy just do too much. Okay. Well, keep staying with them. And both of y'all can do a whole lot, right? Do too much together. Spirit clarify the God of fire in this conclusion. We got to see what y'all got going. Don't get stuck. Thank you. See? In limbo. In limbo. The star towards the two of cups. Now, let me get real, 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 real deep with you. Secretly, you're wishing for a new relationship. Or is it in limbo? Some of you are wishing for a new relationship out of one relationship into another, a better one. The star towards the two of cups. Leah, my, my wish is not being fulfilled. Underneath the deck, let's go. The Knight of Cups comes in. The Knight of Cups comes in with an emotional offer. But understand the Knight of Cups is the weakest knight in the deck. The Knight of Cups is the weakest knight of all knights. Because this knight can literally get to that stream of water and turn around. And the other thing you need to notice is that this knight wears the gold and the black upon the head. The gold talks about the illumination of the black. What is the black? Weakness, darkness, deception, right? Hidden agendas. But it also could talk about somebody um, needing to come in and make an offer to banish those things as well. Because the black talks about banishment as well and then they tell us the way is being clear so your way is being clear all you got to do is move right and become the who oh the emperor right 
But see here, the emperor comes in as a four. You must accept the emperor's energy or reject it. See, that's saying we're coming in with an offer to come in and put you in a position of the emperor. This is our divine love, right? That we're offering you, Ace of Cups. And this is the mental clarity mm -hmm, for you to stop that juggle struggle. Dealing with that old so the new cannot come in. Then they say, stand up. See that? Seven of staff. Stand up. Why? Because the queen of staff, mm -hmm, see that? No motivation, right? No drive. It's causing you to be mentally stuck, right? Mentally stuck where you cannot see the end, a successful completion. I'm telling you, get with it. Keep going. Spirit says, keep going. So the final decision, final decision, right? Towards the world or that completion mm -hmm, is the strength. Uh-huh. That, that, yeah, another eight to do what? To be successful, victorious, six of staff, and to allow justice in, right? Towards your seven of cups, your choices, options, desires to bring forth your balance. Y'all better get with me. Y'all better get with me. Six of coin, what you got going? It ain't nothing but success and victory and a win over here. All you got to do is take the step. All you got to do is accept the offer to become the emperor or the divine masculine, right? And then, then they say, stand up and get out of stand still, no movement. Yep, see that? Look, mentally stuck on no movement. Stand up. Seven of Swords, staff. Why are you standing up? You are on a journey, right? Ace of staff. That is an opportunity upon your victory. You see them six of staff in the background? Yes. Face up and move all this. I can't move. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to stay in my head. I'm just going to stay stuck. Thought of action. I'm going to be mentally stuck about not taking action. That's exactly what it say. But what do they tell you as an indicator? I'm going to show you your indicators. I'm going to show you. Your diamond dreamer, your material wealth and true prosperity. I'm going to show you what it is. Let me show you what it is real quick. Let's get all this out of the way. There's another one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Let's look at these indicators to let you know why success is here. Why your material wealth and true prosperity is like literally a given. Because they say we come in here. And we offer you, right? Where's that cup? Where's that cup? We offer you our divine love, right? In becoming the emperor. Get out of this illumination of darkness or illumination of confusion or illumination to be scared and accept the offer of becoming the emperor. This is our divine love to you. Why? Because everybody is not on the twin flame journey. Uh-huh. Then they say strength. Oh, yeah. Coming in as the eight spiritual strength. Mm -hmm. Then they say victory, right? Victory, six of staff, right? Someone on an illuminated journey, that is the ace of staff, over the five of staff of defeat in the background. Yeah. And then they say justice towards whatever you desire, your options, your choices. Uh-huh. Them cups. Yeah. And then they say that balance, six a coin yes mm -hmm. and then they say a successful completion the world stepping out of the old into the new that is what the world is doing one foot forward one foot back but at the end of the day movement is necessary mm -hmm. let's get it divine masculines i haven't been on in a while with this twin flame because i was like man Huh? I don't like confusing people. I'm trying to help people out of confusion. And everybody's like, why this? Why that? Oh, my God. I'm getting emails, and they like 20 paragraphs long. And I sit there, and I read them. I feel like it's part of my job. Because if I have to sit there and listen to your story or read your story to get into the mind frame that you have and to see where the mistakes was made or where the confusion lies, 
that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to sit back there and I'm probably going to email you back them 20 paragraphs. For real. Because I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tap. I'm going to type out every letter to every word so you can understand it. And you know what I mean? People are like, oh my God, I didn't even know. Leah, thank you. Thank you for giving me clarity. Yeah. One little mishap, one little mistake, right? And you sit here listening to all these readers out here. And you don't know what spirits they calling forth and what demons and devils they working with. So you better choose your readers and your spiritual guides uh, carefully. I'm telling you now. Because I done seen a lot of things in this world. In the physical and in the spiritual. Let's go. Divine feminines, we up. All right, we up. So you telling us you worried, huh? What you worried about, Divine Feminine? I'm worried about the pride in the cage. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Some of y'all in these relationships with these abusive people, they won't let you out. So if you can't get out, how you going to go on divine, the twin flame journey? Oh, okay. Anyway, deceit of your mind is here. Or they tell us that a deceitful person is here. But then they say, what must the Divine Feminine do? Survive. Mm-hmm. And uh, see something fake or see something that is no good for them, like them being trapped where they can't go on the twin flame journey, or they or or they just uh knocking down the deceit of all this bull, all right? So then they tell us what is here for you, getting them emotions together, cause that is water, cleansing and purifying yourself, and getting back to the routine or the rejuvenation of life, right? Upon the spiritual wisdom, uh huh. And the strength that pushes you forward. Not hard to do. Depending on who you're dealing with. Because some of y'all dealing with them psychos. Anyway, the creation of a bride in a cage. Literally, some of you are um getting ready to be in a trap. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Here you is with your little wedding gown on. Your little wedding dress. I ain't even took off your price tag. Somebody done sat here and promised you a, a marriage, a house, a white picket fence, the children, and five dogs. And you still sitting up here with your red dress on. And you done turned into a skeleton with a wig on. And you haven't even took off the uh tight tag of the dress. Look at you. Just look at you. Some of you are all confused. Because the main colors in this car, white, black, and pink. The purity and the clarity of the black deception deceit weakness right unknown yeah pertaining to what those pink rays that if you walk through them they're gonna cut you in half like off of um resident evil yeah the pink talks about joy success happiness um what else partnership romance passion compassion look at you you're stuck i don't know what to do i don't know what to do ready to go to the wedding and ain't even paid for the dress. And people gonna put you in jail. Take, try to run out there with their dress on. Okay. Then they tell us that something here within a relationship. Maybe someone is coming in to ask you to marry them. Or to be with them. Or to be a life partner with them. And it's like something is going on in a relationship. Where some of you are in these relationships. And have been in these relationships. And maybe you have gotten wind that somebody wants to marry you. And you said, oh, my God, I'm on a twin flame journey. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Feminine energy, feminine energy. Well, we'll say this is a feminine energy because you got on a wig and skeletons don't have hair. So, right? This is the nine. This is the three. They both make the three. The creation of the bride in the cage and the worry. See that? The worry. Then they tell us what pushes forward this anxiety. What is behind you? Who is behind you? Deceit. What has happened here? What has happened here? So, let's get some insight. Spirit, what surrounds the bride in the cage, the creation? Some of you, you're, you're going to find yourself in a trap and you're not going to know what to do. I'm telling you, look. Directly over. See that? You received the grove, baby. The grove. And then... You have uh, synchronicities or mirroring here as well. Because this is the 21. Don't forget the Divine Masculines had the uh, 12s. And this is also the 21. See that? The mirroring factor. Am I on the twin flame journey? Yes. So it says the grove. The creation of the grove. What is the creation of the grove? Getting yourself out of a confusion state or a state of confusion. 
to heal your wounds. Who has sat here and said, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and you believed it. Mm -hmm. But see, it's all good, though, because the three with the three talks about a balance. Some of you need to talk out your feelings. You need to release the depression or the anxiety out of here. But I, I don't want to deal with the deception and the worry of lies. Yeah. See that? Spirit, what surrounds this anxiety and deceit for the divine feminines? Look at you. Two, baby. Two, belonging and strength. Somebody said we was going to be together forever to the end. We're going to be friends. Changing. Belonging is changing. What? Changing what works. Changing who you're with, right? Coming in as a five, right? Belonging, right? Sometimes you have to belong to yourself before you can belong to someone else and you must find the strength. This comes in as an eight spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations, also known as transformations of strength. Finding your strength that will help you change who you belong to, what you belong to. But all together, they represent the four, so you can accept or you can reject your decision. Sitting here believing these people, I want to love on you. I want to, huh? I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to get married. I want to have a house. I want to have kids. But where did you say you was going to help take care of anything or anybody? Who the hell finna be right? Managing this football team. Oh, let's see what's going on with your desert prince. Spirit, what surrounds the desert prince for the divine feminines? I'm just so curious. Strength is here. Spiritual knowledge is here. Some of you need to um take some type of baths to wash away, right? Some of you need some type of um cleansing baths or um what is it? Clearance in this situation. I'm telling you not. You need some type of clarity. And then they say survival. And going against them false promises brings forth that movement. Movement comes in as a two, right? But with the desert prince, they make the creation. The creation of movement towards survival or the creation of movement towards these false promises. Okay. Tools, baby. Opportunity, missed opportunities. Sometimes secrets being held or exposed. Where you at? See? Communication factors of conversating and debating. Two connecting factors. Oh, which two? Which two? These two? Mm -hmm. These two? Uh huh. Or these two? Mm -hmm. You being stuck, you need to realize the realness. Or these two? Healing your wounds and moving fast forward right on out the door. Bye. Pew. Leaving the dress on the floor. Oh. Mm -hmm. Twos also talks about the two becoming one. Who has promised you this? I'm telling you. Sometimes they say they love you. And sometimes they say, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. To throw you off your course. Don't forget these demons and these devils that are within people. <laughs> they know about your path. They know about your glow, your shine. Mm -hmm. They know about you being chosen. Uh-huh. And they know about you being on that uh twin flame journey pathway. Mm -hmm. So they'll throw any type of little curveball monkey wrench in here to throw you off. And here we go. The father just popped out. I'm up here shuffling these cards. Let me get them right. I don't want no. I don't like the um. I don't like the look. You got another one. The reversals. But they come, I read them. All right. So towards this movement, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and give it to you. The father towards the quest, right? The divine masculine towards the eight of cups. In some decks, the eight of cups represent walking away. And in others, it represents that spiritual uh, plan, the quest, spiritual journey. They're telling you here, you must survive, right? Through all the false promises and false hopes, right? Move on, move away from that. Survive, keep pushing, keep moving, right? Creation, right? Why? Because the father is getting ready to, or the emperor or the divine masculine is getting ready to start a new journey or a new quest. Uh-huh. Because 
the father or the emperor is moving straight over here to this uh transform of the quest or the movement of a journey turning about baby don't give up give up on this bull right here though like like don't let nobody talk you in them don't let them devils and spirits and deity talk you into uh getting married and then you got to go through the divorce and fall in love with the, don't do that it's just too much spirit clarify why is the bride in the cage here towards this grove you seen that three baby the creation all up and through this thing two face down one up though even though you look like listen on top they tell us the creation of abundance is here for you mm -hmm. see that mm -hmm. what you do not see what you do not know but what you need to understand right high priestess towards the six of swords or the sorceress towards that passage together they represent the eight honey another eight transformation right secret passage right mysterious passage because these are all the things of the um high priestess or sorceress right the creation you see she's brewing mm -hmm. she's making a way but the only way you're gonna find it is in the spiritual tell me you don't see that moon right there and then up here is a full moon right crescent moon full moon and the illumination of y'all yeah? that passage mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the abundance is being created let's go spirit why is the sorceress and passage here for the divine feminines right yeah let's go oh fierce little cat too look at a bobcat a lynx look at it. yeah get that passage and then the other thing i want you to notice here in the sky that is a dragon mm -hmm. Some of you may need to start dealing on um, working with like dragon's blood for protection. Yeah. Spirit clarify the sorceress in this passage. Why is it here for the divine feminist? When I say y'all better get with me, huh, a major shift is coming. Yes. Will of fortune. Spirit clarify the will of fortune for the divine feminist. Out of this juggle struggle. See that? Two of coins. Mental clarity, page of swords, towards the knight of cups coming in and making an offer to face a heartbreak, but to recover towards what? Happiness. Don't give me too much. Nine of cups. Don't give me too much. I don't want too much. Do I do, do I need to go on? Let me go up. Let me go underneath the deck real quick. Justice is coming in. So you must what? Stand up seven of staff and that is the final decision mm -hmm, judgment towards the recovery oh my goodness of divine worth of divine value ace of coin out of a heartbreak oh baby three of swords heartbreaks heart aches headaches that was manifested and created mm -hmm. but guess what it is a time of laying down burdens yeah for who the wounded warriors them divine feminists y'all better get with me y'all better get with me if it ain't beautiful i don't know what is divine shift major shift coming forward for the divine feminists and the masculines anybody who needs to talk to me email me at enlightened mystic essentials if you are a aquarius i'm dropping dimes y'all Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio, I advise you to go to my website at Enlightened Mystic Essentials and look at how this Aquarius moon is affecting these relationships. And I only gave it to y'all because y'all know y'all my riders, baby. Um, Anybody who needs to speak to me, email me, talk to me, leave a comment down below, right? And until I see you guys later, I want you to work it out, figure it out, take care, and listen. I'm getting ready to start. I already done created my channel. I'm making another channel. And it's called Dark Mystic 666. Don't trip. Because three sixes make the 18 that breaks down to the divines of nine. Okay? So it's going to be Dark Mystic 666. And I am going to be here telling you about um what type of fear, block, hole, and regrets a person has created. Like at this time, if you have not seen that Aquarius reading, when I say it is crucial. I'm telling you, 
I see a block. Somebody has manifested and created for Aquarius. If you are Aquarius, a Leo, a Taurus, or a Scorpio, this Aquarius moon, I'm talking about pool. I'm a Scorpio, and I've been going through some shit over here. Listen, if you're new, subscribe, and that is another thing. Everybody's been talking about YouTube has been unsubscribing them. If you are not subscribed, please just re uh, subscribe, please. So until I see you guys later, work it out, figure it out, take care, and I love you guys.